Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny. Stop! What the heck, Stacy? <laughs> Girl, look up! I just saved your life. They banned Christmas music. This is ridiculous. I was just starting to get into the Christmas spirit. Who is that? It's Mr. Smith. He's singing Jingle Bells. He has his AirPods in. Mr. Smith, stop! One horse open. No. Sweetheart, you got to smile. It's picture day. Come on. I don't feel like smiling. Well, you know what? At least take this brush and comb your hair a little before I take your picture, okay? Uh-oh. Not today. Ew! You got me right in the Sorry. eye! Hey, babe, what are you doing? Well, brushes are banned, so I figured I would try a fork. <laughs> what are you, the little mermaid? We have to break we up. We need to break up. No more Mr. Smith, no more boyfriend, but at least I still have you. Oh, no, they don't. Anyone with a dog has to hand it over to me. We have to hide you. Ma'am, you do realize dogs are banned. Of course, but fortunately for Billy, he's not a dog. Uh-huh, nice try. Hand over the dog or else... Damn it. Yes! So glad dogs aren't banned anymore. Oh my gosh, I know, right? I'm glad yours didn't get taken. Hey, I like your notebook. Thanks, I got it from the Brianna Missouri merch store. Oh, cool. <gasps> Someone is seriously out to get me. <laughs> oh gosh, why does it smell so bad in here? Sorry, did you see what they banned this morning? I mean, come on. They banned deodorant, not showers. If I don't have deodorant, then I don't shower. Hey, since boyfriends are unbanned, do you want to get back together with me? I kind of want to get to know you more. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Sweet. And here comes another banned item. <laughs> wow, they just banned dresses. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm wearing a dress. Guess I'm really going to get to know you now. I oh! am not taking this off. Help me hide. Come on. Please, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wear a... This way. Let's go. I'm wearing a dress. Guess I'm really gonna get to know you now. Oh. I am not taking this off. Help me hide. Come on. Please, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wear a- This way. Let's go. I know you're freaking out, but I have an idea. We cut your dress in half. What? It'll be a two-piece. Jake, that's actually a great idea. Right? Okay, hand me the scissors. I don't know. Your hands are kind of shaky, so- Jake, I'm fine. Just hand me the scissors. Uh, I feel like I should do it, to be honest. Jake- I'm kidding. Chill. Here, take the- I'm safe- <sighs> but I'm not. Can you close your eyes, maybe? Please tell me you're wearing boxers. I mean, yeah, but still, just close your eyes, okay? Thanks. I appreciate you keeping your eyes closed. Mm -hmm. It's been an hour. <laughs> they better unban pants soon. What? What are you laughing at? No, it's just, um... Why do your boxers say Merry Rismus? Hey! Sorry, I might have looked just for a second. Ugh, they were a gift. Stop, stop looking. Please tell me I can open my eyes now. Uh, you might not want to. Why? Well, because... That's why. I can't shave my head, okay? I really can't. Yeah, I know. This is a really bad one. Emergency. Change the band item. How did you just do that? I... Look, there's something you need to know about me. I can't shave my head, okay? I really can't. Yeah, I know. This is a really bad one. Emergency. Change the band item. How did you just do that? I... Look, there's something you need to know about me. My dad's in charge of this system. How could you not tell me this? It's a secret. I'm not supposed to tell. So you could change the band item whenever you want? Why didn't you change it when it said dress? It's not like my dad just does whatever I say. It's only for emergency purposes. Please don't be mad at me. How does your dad even know to change the stuff? He has a microphone on me that he'll listen to. He's kind of a psychopath. Yeah, no kidding. Please, wait. I need to be alone. If you're creeped out that my dad's always listening, he doesn't listen all the time. Uh Necklaces are banned. Is your dad out to get me or something? No, I mean, maybe... This is stupid. If you really care about me, have your dad end this whacked up system. Don't you think I've tried? Please, just take off the necklace. Fine. It's stuck. Hey, looks like we got a lawbreaker over here. Jake. Guys, don't shoot. You know who I am. Her necklace is stuck. Oh, you're Jake's girlfriend. Come here. Take them both to his father. Get off of me. Looks like we got a lawbreaker over here. Jake. Guys, don't shoot. You know who I am. Her necklace is stuck. Oh, you're Jake's girlfriend. Come here. Take them both to his father. Get off of me. Sit in the elimination chair and don't let go of him. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Elimination chair? Jake, what is she talking about? I won't let them do anything to you. We shall see about that, son. Dad, let her go. She didn't break the law. Her necklace got stuck. Lies. She was just testing you. Is that true? 
I... She never tried to unlock her necklace. I have the camera footage to prove it. She was probably just trying to see if I was going to stand up for her. And you know what? I don't blame her for not trusting me when I have a father like you. Well, let's see how much you truly care about her. Oops, now it looks like you both are breaking the law. I'll let you choose one person to live. It's okay, just choose to save yourself. No, Dad, I'm not gonna make that choice. Just end the system. You know I can't do that. Then go ahead and end me. Wrong answer. <sighs> Sweetheart, meet my new wife. Hello, dear. She's just about to get her words for the day. Really? Well, how much did you get? <gasps> Three. That's weird. She usually gets way more words than that. How many words today, dear? Oh, how awful. And at your father's funeral, too. You should use them to say something to him. I'll miss you, Daddy. It's that time again. Time to see how many words you got. Oh, four again. I want a notebook. We've been over this. That would be a waste of paper. And you're foolish to use up your words so quickly. It's probably best you don't speak, dear. My queen, how is she to meet a prince if she cannot speak? Well, that's just it. She won't be able to meet one. <laughs> Princess, we heard there's a prince that wants to meet you at the ball today. Ladies, we do not gossip in this castle. And I can assure you, that's not true. Don't worry, Princess. You look great. You're ready for the ball. You're going to make such a beautiful queen someday. <laughs> queen? She can never be queen. Why not? Because she hardly ever gets any words. How can she rule a kingdom with no words? At 18, she's supposed to take the throne. Absolutely not. It's bad enough she's a silent princess. Imagine having a silent queen. Hello, princess. How was your day today? Oh, no words, huh? I find it better when women don't speak anyways. <laughs> Care to dance? Oh, what was that for? Excuse me, princess. I, uh, I saw what you did back there. I thought it was great. I can't stand that prince. <laughs> but actually, there's something I wanted to talk to you about, maybe in private. It's about your Excuse work. me, it's past her bedtime. Come along. I don't ever want to see you around that prince again. He's not to be trusted. How many words today? How many did you get? Four again. Well, might as well use them up right now. Oh, don't be stubborn. Just say something. I will be queen. How dare you talk to me like that? You need to learn respect. You shall not leave this room for two days. I'm sorry, princess. We cannot open the door. Princess, can you hear me? I don't think this is her room. Help. Oh, princess, hey. I can't believe I found you. I also can't believe I climbed up this tower. Can I come inside? Right, sorry. First things first, I want to give you some words. I know it's illegal, but you deserve to speak. Thank you. Look, there's no easy way to tell you this. I think the queen is taking your words. What? Yeah, but worse than that, I think she's trying to have you killed. Open the door, I need to check on her. Hurry up, open the door. You have to go, climb out the window. Be careful. Just thought I'd check on you. Has anyone brought you any food yet? Well, you must be starving. I'll have the chefs make you something special. Here you are, dear. What? It's your favorite. Why won't you eat? You're trying to poison me. How did you... Who gave you words? My queen, we caught a boy trying to climb down the castle. No. Oh, so it was a boy who gave you words. Lock him up. No, please, he was just trying to help me. That's enough out of you. Take him to the dungeon. It's illegal to transfer words to someone else. Yes, your majesty. I know that you want me gone. Really? Took you long enough? Well, you're not going to get away with it because I'm going to expose you to- What's that, dear? I can't hear you. You see, I found a way to take your words. <laughs> the time has come. No one can hear you. In life, you must take what's rightfully yours. You see, since you're royal blood and I'm not, you're to take the throne at 18. And we can't have that happening, now can we? Poor, helpless princess. Should have just eaten the food. After all, that's how I got rid of your father. <laughs> what, you didn't think he just mysteriously passed away, did you? Oh! You little- Hey, get away from her. Who set you free? That would be me. The prince told me of your evil plan. Looks like he was right. Here, princess. That's illegal. So is trying to kill the princess. You are no longer queen. 
Would you like to take her words? No! You had infinite words, yet you were still taking words from me? Take her away. Congrats on becoming queen. Thank you for everything, and I know this might sound kind of silly, but I feel like you and I are meant to be together. Actually, you took the words right out of my mouth. Cat sit for a millionaire or babysit for a billionaire. I do love cats, but I am allergic, and I think the billionaires are going to pay more. Thank you for coming. How does 5,000 an hour sound? 5,000? Mm-hmm. Is that too low for you? No, no. That's plenty. Excellent. Okay, let me see. Let me just go get the kids. This is Tabitha and Thomas. Now let's go over the rules. Okay. And lastly, bedtime is at 8. Question, when you say the kids aren't allowed outside, how do they go to school? Tabitha is homeschooled. Oh, okay. And of course our son is just a baby. Time for us to go. Yes, don't you worry, Mr. and Mrs. Parker. Your kids are in great... hands. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bonked his head. Oh, it's already eight o'clock. It's time for bed. Uh, Sarah? Yes? Sometimes I dream that I have a different mommy and daddy and I get scared. They're just dreams, sweetheart. You sleep well, okay? Good night. Good night, Sarah. I can't believe I'm working for billionaires. Is that blood? And it just dripped on me from the attic. You saw blood? Yeah, and I'm just a bit concerned because... <laughs> <laughs> blood in the I attic. I don't really see how this is funny. The blood must have been from our Halloween decorations. We stole them in the attic. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I may have overreacted a bit. Oh, you poor thing. You were probably terrified. Here's a $100 gift card for your troubles. Well, thank you, but are you sure you don't want my help cleaning up all that mess? No, thank you, but can you watch the kids next Saturday? Yes, of course. Excellent. See you then. Bye-bye now. Please make sure Tabitha does not go in the guest bedroom. We're renovating it and it's not safe for children. Yes, of course. Understood. <gasps> Sarah! Tabitha, hi! Are you ready to play some games? <laughs> yeah, I missed you. Come on, follow me. I want to play in here. No, no, Tabitha, you're not supposed to go in there. Tabitha, I really don't appreciate you not listening. I saw we. I thought your parents said they were renovating this room. W what does renovating mean? <laughs> it means like to fix it up and make it pretty. It's already pretty. Is that blood on the countertop? Huh? You know what, I'm sorry. It's probably just from your Halloween decorations. Mommy and Daddy, they, they don't decorate for Halloween. What? Mommy and Daddy, they, they don't decorate for Halloween. What? The blood must have been from our Halloween decorations. And that means this blood must be real. If that blood was real, then I'm lucky to have made it home alive. But whose blood would it have been? Sometimes I dream that I have a different mommy and daddy and I get scared. What if Mr. and Mrs. Parker killed Tabitha and Thomas's real parents and that was their blood in the attic? <laughs> it's them. Hello? We need you, ASAP. Thank you for agreeing to come. See you. See you. If something really is going on there, I'm gonna have to prove it. So when Mr. and Mrs. Parker leave, I'm gonna investigate the attic myself. Hopefully this is tall enough to reach the attic. Sarah, well, what are you doing? Tabitha, I told you to go watch Coco Melon. No, I want to be with you. What's that? It's an Amber Alert for a missing baby, and it's a picture of your baby brother. I think these kids were kidnapped. What's going on? There's no time to explain, sweetheart. We have to go. I'm scared. Shh, it's gonna be okay. They're home. What's going on? There's no time to explain, sweetheart. We have to go. I'm scared. Shh, it's gonna be okay. They're home. Sarah, please don't hide. We know you saw the Amber Alert, but we can explain. Tabitha? She's calling me. She's trying to trick you. I told you. She's not your real mom. I think they're gone. Are you gonna call the police? My phone died. <laughs> Shh, Thomas, stop crying. <laughs> Found you. Don't be scared. Just because the kids are stolen. It doesn't mean we don't love them. No. You leave the children alone. Yeah. Tabitha. <sighs> what a shame. You're just like our last babysitter. What did you do to her? The blood in the attic. That was hers, and now you're- oh. Surprise! I'm still alive.
Susie. I'm okay. Just call the police. Go get help. Come on, Tabitha. Let's go. Thank you for finding my daughter. And thank you for finding my son. You should really thank the other babysitter. She she was the real hero. It was both of you. You both are responsible for reuniting two children back with their families. I'm glad everyone's okay. Me too. Tabitha wanted to know if you would still want to be her babysitter? Yeah, please. I'm gonna have to go with... Yes. <gasps> Yay! Get a winning lottery ticket or give a winning lottery ticket. I mean, my parents, they're already millionaires, but a little extra cash never hurt. Excuse me, do you have any money? My parents abandoned me and... I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have bothered you. Wait! He needs this. I pick this one. Hey, wait up! Dude, wait. What's what's that on the floor over there? Huh? What the heck? What is this? It looks like a lottery ticket. You should probably scratch it, you know, and see if you won anything. You think? Okay. No way. No freaking way! I won! Well, congrats. You should probably go cash that in. I just won a million dollars. <laughs> what was your name? Uh, my name's Jace. I'm Lindsay. It's really nice to meet you. Did you hear about the super attractive guy that transferred here? No. It doesn't matter. Rachel snatched him up anyways. Of course she did. She literally gets all the guys. Surprise! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Jace? Well, congrats. You should probably go cash that in. I just won a million dollars. <laughs> what was your name? Uh, my name's Jace. I'm Lindsay. It's really nice to meet you. Did you hear about the super attractive guy that transferred here? No. It doesn't matter. Rachel snatched him up anyways. Of course she did. She literally gets all the guys. Surprise! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Jace? Huh? Are you his friend? Well, I thought he was my friend. I just met her. Hey, what's this? That's not funny. This is special to me. Let go! Relax. No, dude, let go! Aw, oh, poor baby. Whatever, she's no fun. Who wants to go shopping at Gucci with me? Me, me. I do. What happened to you? What can I say? Money changes people. I need to talk to you. Um, sorry. Jace is busy. Back off, Rachel. This is important. Listen, the only reason that you're rich, Jace, is because of me. <laughs> I'm being serious. You saw something on the floor and told me to look. That's it. I was the one that got the ticket for you and put it for you on the floor. Girl, you need to stop lying. It's embarrassing. It says it above my head. Oh, you want to know what sucks? Only you can see that. You're in love with Jace at minute. I am not. Right, so all this is not you trying to get his attention? Girl, be for real. Yo, Jace. What's up? Looks like Lindsay was telling the truth. Check out this video. Dude, wait. What's, what's that on the floor over there? Huh? So she did throw the lottery ticket on the floor for me? Yeah. Damn it, I gotta go talk to her. Jace, it looks like she needs water. Maybe give her this? Yeah, okay. Hey, I saw the viral video. I'm really sorry. So what you're saying is it took video proof for you to believe me? Nice. Wait, I want to make it up to you. I literally- You're in love with Jace at minute. I am not. Right, so all this is not you trying to get his attention? Girl, be for real. Yo, Jace. What's up? Looks like Lindsay was telling the truth. Check out this video. Dude, wait. What's, what's that on the floor over there? Huh? So she did throw the lottery ticket on the floor for me? Yeah. Damn it, I gotta go talk to her. Jace, it looks like she needs water. Maybe give her this? Yeah, okay. Hey, I saw the viral video. I'm really sorry. So what you're saying is it took video proof for you to believe me? Nice. Wait, I want to make it up to you. I literally owe you big time. I'll buy you anything. I don't know. Don't you want to go hang with Rachel and all her friends? Not really. Uh-huh. Well, I'm gonna go get some water. Hang on. It's funny you say that because I have some right here. Are you sure that this was just water? I mean, yeah, Rachel gave it to me. Rachel? What? Yeah, she just said you looked thirsty. Girly Pop, that's my water. I hope you don't mind it has lemon. Lemon? But I'm allergic to lemon. What? Girly Pop, that's my water. I hope you don't mind it has lemon. Lemon? But I'm allergic to lemon. What? She is not. I've seen her drink lemonade. Rachel, she's obviously having a reaction. Girl, you don't have like an EpiPen or something? <laughs> no, I, I didn't bring mine today. Well, that was dumb. I'm gonna go see if I can find a teacher. Rachel, hurry. It's getting really hard for me to breathe. Where the heck did Rachel go? She's supposed to be getting help. Jeez, I can barely breathe. Okay, we gotta get you help. There's a hospital down the street. Come on. Someone please help. She's having an allergic reaction. Bring her over here. We'll take care of her. This way, hurry. Someone please help. She's having an allergic reaction. Bring her over here. We'll take care of her. This way, hurry. Jace. Lindsay? Oh, thank God you're okay. The doctor said that I'm free to walk around for a little bit. Oh, good. 
Do you need me to call your parents or anything? No, I've already tried. My parents are both actors and they're on a plane right now to Spain to shoot a movie. Oh, well, whoa. Sorry. It's okay. You should probably go back and sit down. Yeah, probably. Easy now. And I want you to know I'm covering all your medical bills. You didn't have to- It's the least that I can do, Lindsay. Really. Also, I brought this for you. I remember you said it was special to you. Thanks. I also got you a few things, too. Those enough? Because I could buy more. Yeah, I think- I think this is good, thank you. Hey, you made me a millionaire. I literally owe you everything. And I'm sorry. Hey, get back here! <sighs> Officer, wait, see? She's fine! I don't need to go to Juvie! Jace, help me out! Sorry, Rachel. Really hope you learn your lesson. Come on, let's get out of here. Uh, no! Want to see your boyfriend's feelings? 100%? Guess he's a keeper. Got this for you. Thanks! Of course, babe. Derek, is that you? Olivia! You two know each other? Yeah, we used to... Date! We were... together for a little bit. We should all go out sometime. Yeah, we should. Boyfriend lost a little feelings. Hey babe, do you maybe wanna... hang out tonight? Oh, sorry babe, I already invited the boys over. They'll be here in a little bit. It's game night. More feelings lost. What is going on? You know what, forget it. I don't care if it's boys night. I have to go talk to him. Derek, I- <gasps> oh! Holy shit! Is she wearing my... Um, we we can explain. You should have knocked. Ugh. Want to get revenge on your boyfriend? Pick your revenge for boyfriend. Revenge is ready. Take your revenge. Remember to use it wisely. Hey, can we talk? There is nothing to talk about. You and I are over. No, don't say that, okay? I just found out that Olivia is with another guy. Well, you know what they say. Karma is a real... Maria, please. What I did was stupid, and I promise it's not going to happen again. I want you, not her. Thanks for giving me a second chance. Of course. I'm not one to hold a grudge. You look so beautiful, babe. Thanks. Babe, I gotta tell you. This food is, like, really good. I'm glad you like it. I made it myself. What? I didn't know you could cook. You even got my favorite drink? Should we make a toast? To us. To us. Oh, babe, I hope you don't mind I switched our drinks. The one you gave me smelt a little strong. Whoa! You switched them? Yeah, I didn't think it was that big of a deal. <laughs> You've been coughing a lot. Are you okay? You know what? I'm gonna go get you some water. Your revenge has backfired. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Would you like to receive the antidote? Is that even a question? Yes. Sorry I took so long, babe. Here you go. Thanks. What a hero. Boyfriend has lost a little feelings. That boy gains and loses feelings for me every five seconds. Olivia? What the hell are you doing here? It's Derek. He's in the hospital. Haven't you checked your phone? He got into a car accident. Derek? Bria, you came. Oh, I'm so glad I'll have you to take care of me. Actually, no, you won't. Because I'm breaking up with you. What? No! Please. It's like I said, Derek. Karma. It's a real bit. <laughs> Excuse me? I saw this flower and I thought of your face. Do you think I have Riz? Honestly, you need to work on it. Why did I just get money? Because, sweetheart, every time someone has a crush on you, you get money. We're gonna be witch. Wanna go prom dress shopping? I can't. I'm broke. You have no new crushes? No. Oh my gosh, what did I tell you? You're so pretty, but you don't talk to anyone. That is not true. I talk to Tommy. Tommy is a little creep who likes to stalk you. He doesn't count. You need to talk to other boys. Look, it's not my fault that I have social anxiety. Girl, just let me teach you how to flirt. I can flirt, okay? Here comes a guy. Hi, um, I like your face. Huh? You know that I have a girlfriend, right? Right. <laughs> And you lost more money, didn't you? Yeah. You're coming with me. Fine. This is perfect for prom. I'm telling you I'll buy it for you. And I'm telling you I can't. It's way too short. My parents would kill me. What's going on? What's up with your crushes? I don't know. It just... Hey. What the freak, Tommy? What are you doing in the girl's dressing room? Listen, I posted something that's gonna make you rich. Tommy, what did you post? It's nothing bad. It's just... You tell me what you posted, right? Oh my gosh. You need to see this. Don't get mad. You need to see this.
Don't get mad. You recorded me without me knowing? Look, I was just trying to get you some more money. Do you know what's gonna happen when my parents see this video? Are they gonna get mad you're wearing that dress? Come on, you're 18. And that video's viral, so you're gonna be rich. Tommy? Yeah? Delete it. Uh, I kinda got logged out of my TikTok account. You what? <laughs> Her video is getting so many views. You little creep, Tommy. Ow! That's for following us. <clears throat> oh, jeez. And that's for recording me without permission. I was just trying to help. Casey, where are my other clothes? I don't know, they were right here. Hey, looking for these? Hey! See ya! <laughs> How much money you got now? Two thousand. Wow, I guess your video's really going viral. Girl, calm down. Well, you know, I don't like attention like this. Can you please just buy me this dress and I just want to go home. I actually have to go. What? You'll be fine. You're rich now. Casey, please, you can't just leave me like this. Sorry. Casey! Bye. You're going to wear the dress out? It's going to be $122. Where are you going? To the bus. And I would appreciate it if you would stop following me. You're cute. Hey, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Casey left me with no way home and this creepy guy was following me so I couldn't get the bus home and- I deleted the video. You did? Yeah, it's doing more harm than good. Uh, your friend just posted something. What's happening? Uh, your friend Casey just posted something. This rich girl literally gets mad at me for not buying her a dress. Just buy me this dress. I don't have enough money. Casey! She edited this. I just can't believe that she would do this to me. She definitely got jealous of you getting all these crushes. But you know what? Come on. I'll go with you to go confront her. Look, it's the whiny rich girl. Boo! Get out of here! Hey! The video was faked and we're gonna prove it. Come on. Casey. What is wrong with you? I thought that we were friends. Oh, the video? I was just showing people the real you, that's all. It's not real if you edited it. Yeah! Did you not ask me to buy your dress? You offered to pay for me for that dress. That was before you had $2,000, and then you still asked me to buy it. Well, I'm sorry I wasn't thinking clearly, because I was in the middle of having a panic attack. Well, boo-hoo for you. Just admit you edited the video. Okay, I edited the video. Does that make you feel happy? No one's gonna find out anyways. We wouldn't be so sure about that. Say hello to my live stream with over a million viewers. You've been streaming this? Yep, and you heard the truth here, guys, so pass it on. Whoa. My crushes are disappearing. <laughs> FYI, a lot of people on the live stream were shipping us together. <laughs> well, you kind of stuck up for me when my best friend didn't, so... Are you giving me a chance? If you promise no more stalking. Deal! Oh my gosh, I've been dreaming of this my whole life. I mean, uh, I'm cool. I'm cool.